In this solution video, we'll be looking at confidence intervals about population proportions. And before we do so, I'd like to cover some important terms. First of all, what exactly is a confidence interval? And a confidence interval is really an educated guess about some parameter, in this case, a population proportion or percentage. So we're trying to make an educated guess or guesstimate, if you will, about a population percentage based on a sample percentage. An excellent example of this are the polls that are taken at the time of elections. These polls predict what the percent of people who are going to vote for one candidate or another is in the population based on the sample. The level of confidence, which is generally 95%, is how confident you are that your guess has indeed included the actual population percentage or proportion. The point estimate is the percentage or proportion that you find in your sample. And the margin of error is the amount that we add and subtract from the point estimate in order to form our interval. We are going to use the TI-83 to do a problem in a recent poll of 200 households, it was found that 152 households had at least one computer. Estimate the proportion of households in the population that have at least one computer. To consider this problem and looking at the important terms we spoke of earlier, what we are asked to find is a confidence interval. We are told that in a recent poll of 200 households, 152 households had at least one computer. So if we would like to calculate the point estimate, that means we need to find what 152 divided by 200 is equal to. And we see that 152 divided by 200 is 0.76, so that the proportion in our sample, which is the point estimate, also known as p hat, is 0.76. Now, although the proportion in our sample is 0.76, the actual proportion in the population is probably not exactly 0.76. But we will use 0.76 as a basis of a guess range of what the actual population proportion is in this problem. And to do that using the TI-83, we'll use the one proportion interval, which is found under the stat button, then the test menu. And if you scroll down the test menu until you put the number seven on top, you see that you're looking at six different intervals, which can be found with the TI-83. Since we want to find the interval about a population proportion, and we're talking about only one population, we'll use the one proportion Z interval. And to do that, we can go to the letter A and simply press Enter. The input into the TI-83 will be 152 for X, which corresponds to the households in our sample that had at least one computer, and N is 200, which represents the sample size of 200 households that we used in this survey. The C level is the confidence level. We assume the confidence level or C level to be 95% if it is not given in the problem. Notice that the 95% can be input as simply the number 95, or you can input it as 0.95 and the calculator will use either number. This diagram is meant to illustrate what is going on in the calculator when we choose Calculate on the TI-83. Notice that for a confidence level of 95%, the alpha is 5%, or 0 0.05. So now when we click Calculate, we're given the 95% confidence interval estimate of the proportion of households in the population that have at least one computer. That estimate is approximately 0.70 to 0.82, or somewhere between 70 and 82% of the population have at least one computer based on this sample. The confidence level 95% means that we're 95% certain that the actual population percentage or proportion is between 70 and 82%. We interpret the output in terms of our diagram. We see that the p hat, which is the percentage or proportion in our sample, is in the middle of this distribution, and the lower bound 
of the interval is 0 0.70, while the upper bound is 0 0.82. The margin of error is the amount that has to be added to 0.76 or subtracted from 0.76 to get to the numbers 0.82 and 0 0.70 respectively. The margin of error could be calculated using the formula that you see here. However, it would be much simpler to simply subtract from 0.82, 0.76, and one would get 0.06, or we could subtract from 0.76, 0 0.70, to again get 0.06. Writing this same interval using margin of error notation, we have 0.76 plus or minus 0.06, or we could write it as 76% plus or minus 6%. So that our answer as an interval would be 0.70 to 0.82 in parentheses, as you see here, or using margin of error notation, 0.76 plus or minus 0 0.06 written as a decimal, or 76 plus or minus 6% written as a percent.